I was like, please, Jesus, save me from myself. Please, I don't want to die. I don't want to die like this. Like, there was no light at the end of the tunnel for me. Like so many other girls in America, Annie Lobert grew up in a small town, but hers was a home filled with turmoil. Sexual, physical, and emotional abuse drove her to search for a way out as she grew into her teens. And that is how she discovered the easy money that came with prostitution. My girlfriend told me that, hey, listen, we can go into those rooms and tell these guys anything they want to hear. My conscience was so hardened at that point in my life. I had been date raped more times than I could count. I had been dating different men that took advantage of me. And this is what a lot of call girls think and prostitutes think and girls that get into the sex industry. Look, I've already been taken advantage of. Why don't I charge for it? For 16 years, Annie made easy money but became trapped in abusive relationships with pimps who took everything she had. But she kept her determination to make something of her life. And things were good for a while. She stopped hooking and started a business with a friend. But the demons of her past haunted her. She became addicted to drugs as she sought to fill a void left by a lack of companionship and love. And her drug addiction cost her her friendships and eventually her business. When I finally came to the very end of myself and hit the wall, basically the brick wall of my life, I had lost everything. Like I had lost my business. I had lost everything I had ever had to surrender to the traffickers. I had nothing to show for my life. And that moment in my life, I felt like I didn't want to live anymore. I was so ashamed of what what I had done and the, the bad choices I had made in my life that I was despondent. I just wanted to get high. On August 6, 2003, Annie hit rock bottom. It was the most scary and desperate feeling I've ever had in my life. And before it happened, I remember chopping up the lines, thinking to myself, okay, I'm gonna do these six lines. And back then we would call them railroad lines. They looked like railroad tracks, they were that thick. And I just did them all at once. My heart started racing in my chest and I got really dizzy and I fell back and felt like I was in hell. My funeral starts going before my eyes and the light hits my coffin and my family starts walking down the aisle, shaking their head, saying she was just a drug addicted prostitute. When the EMT came to my to my room and then she put me on the stretcher and she held my hand and she asked me, she said, what did you do? And I finally was honest with someone about my life. I said, look, I did cocaine and I think I overdosed and I'm a prostitute. I don't know what to do, please help me. And literally like when I got to the hospital, the doctor was uh, so awesome because he, he came into the room and he said, look, young lady, you are lucky to be alive. You should be dead because there's too many drugs in your system. And someone as little as you and as, as thin as you should not be here right now. God must be with you. And I knew, I knew that I knew that I knew that Jesus heard my prayer. And I realized God is real. Like he is absolutely real. And that changed me. Today, Annie uses her pain of the past as the driving force in her organization, Hookers for Jesus, which rescues other women from the sex industry. God's love is so much bigger than your problem that you're having. It's so much bigger than the money that you need to make. It is so much bigger. His love is so much bigger than what you're chasing, the American dream, that it's really all we really need is His love. And if I would have just known what I know now, how much that all these material things that we see around us really don't matter, that in all reality, people's dreams are all in junkyards right now and they're rotting away because materialism doesn't make us happy. That if I would have known that God loved me as much as I do now, I never would have done what I've done, never. But at the same time, let me put it this way, I'm really glad that What's happened to me has happened because I can help people that really need help.